Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to load multiple Excel files with a different sheet name to the Azure SQL table by using the map and data flow. So here you see that we have Excel file called the total sale underscore Asia. And then we have another one called the total sale underscore Europe. And then in this example, I'm going to use another one as well called the total scale sale underscore North America as well. But each of these Excel file has one sheet, but the sheet name is different. So you can see there total sale Asia is going to have Asia sheet and the total sale Europe have a Europe sheet. Now, North America will have a separate sheet name called the North America. Now, this kind of becomes tricky in the cases of where, uh, uh, you know, in the previous video, it was the sheet name was same and we have loaded that just, uh, you know, by using the name. Here, we will be using some other feature of uh, our data set that can read the first sheet uh, depending upon uh, you know the index uh, instead of uh, using the name um, so we'll use that uh, so let's go ahead and take a look uh, first of all uh, what I have here I'm going to take you to the uh, blob storage here and uh, in the blob storage I have input a container and uh, that is uh, containing our three different uh, excel files um, total sale Asia total sale Europe and North America each one has uh, uh, sheet called Asia, Europe, and North America, as I showed you in the picture. Now we will be going to the Azure Data Factory, and uh, then uh, in the Azure Data Factory, we'll be creating our data flow and the pipeline. Um, now, the same thing uh, can be done in the copy activity. So, uh, why I'm using data flow? Because uh, I just want to demonstrate uh, you can use data flow here. Uh, you might be uh, implementing some ranking fun function. You might be removing the duplicate records. You might be um, removing the null values and all those. Uh, that's possible in data flow. That's not possible in copy activity. That's why I'm using uh, data flow here to show you how you can read the data and then further you can maybe join union whatever you need to do you can do in the data flow that's not possible in copy activity now let's go ahead and uh, first of all uh, what i'm going to do here i'm going to show you to create the table here so we are creating table called total sale with id first name last name and all that so these are the all the column exactly same columns what you see in the excel i have added an extra column called the file name because I would like to see which records are coming from which file. Let's say create this table and then we'll insert the data into this table from multiple Excel files and different sheet names. Now we go back to your data factory. Here we are going to go to data flows and click right there new data flow. And here we will be using an add source and once uh, we have that, we are going to create our data set. Um, I'm going to click on new here and then uh, use uh, Azure Blob Storage because my file is sitting there. So I'm going to choose Excel here and then I will be creating a link service. Uh, click on new and here you will write uh, your subscription and uh, the storage name. Now our link service is going to be created with Azure Blob Storage 7. Um, now let's uh, select uh, any file as of now. We have three of them. I'm going to go with the total sale Asia. And here uh, you have that uh, worksheet mode. So there are two modes here. One is name and other one is index. If uh, they are the same name, you could have used uh, uh, the name. But uh, here so you see that we have Asia. And in Europe file, we have sheet name Europe. And then in North America total sale file, we have North America. That make it complex and hard because the sheet name is changing. If you want to watch the video where each sheet has the same name, I have done that in previous video. Now here we will be able to use index. That's very helpful. And we are going to click on edit and we are going to tell the use the sheet index zero. OK, because on each of the file, the very first sheet, that's the only one actually I have it. You can have multiple sheets, but read the very first one. So here there are some tips that you need to understand the Excel worksheet index. If there is a worksheet added or deleted from Excel file, the index of existed the worksheet will change automatically. So you need to understand that sometimes people will add more sheets and delete them and then at the end they leave only one sheet that might have changed the index. So you just want to make sure it is the only single sheet and they're not being created and deleted and all that. 
So once the Excel is created, use that one, the very first index in my case, I just created the file, just say this was my sheet one, I just rena renamed to Asia, North American, Europe, and that's all I did. So it is going to be very first sheet in my case. Um, index zero means first sheet, index one, that means second sheet. Now that's uh, good, and we will say first row has header true, and yes, import schema, hit OK. As of now, you can see that I'm pointing to the total sale Asia and it will be loading only Asia data. So that's fine. I'm going to show you all that uh, how to change uh, for multiple Excel files. Uh, let's preview the data and it should show us uh, the data from Asia file. Now you can see that uh, this data is coming from Asia region and uh, that's our Asia file. Now a couple of things I would like to do here. I will go to the source settings. Uh, I will leave this as it is. And uh, then I'm going to go to the source options. Uh, and here I will add another column called the file name. You remember that we already have created a table with file name column. So that's where it will be mapped to. Now we go back to the factory here and uh, uh, leave this everything as it is. Uh, now you can see that I'm not using a wildcard patch here. I'm going to use it. And uh, then, uh, or let's, let's say uh, we go ahead and do it right now. So we'll say asterisk.xlsx. That means any file you have here in the input container load it. Uh, now, also, if you are uh, looking for total, like total sale or something like that, say, and then asterisk dot XLS, so that's fine. Maybe in the same container, you are getting different files, but you are only interested to load anything that starts with a total sale, then ends with, it doesn't matter, date or time or whatever, but it should be dot XLSX file. So that's fine. Now, what we did, uh, we added a new column for the file name. We also told the load all the files. Now we are going to go to the sync here and in the sync we are going to choose our data set for Azure SQL database. Azure SQL, so Azure SQL, uh, not MySQL, SQL. Okay, now we create a link service and here we are going to provide the subscription, then a server name, then database name, and then username and the password. TB user is my favorite username and I use all the time. And uh, my favorite password, DBA123 dollar sign. And let's create this uh, link service. Uh, it's called Azure Database uh, 3. Now, we will uh, not create uh, a new table. We'll use existing table. And in our case, it's called the total sale. Yes, uh, import schema is fine. And hit OK. Now, our source is going to read uh, all the files uh, as we told uh, the source uh, to read all those files. Uh, and uh, then it's going to load the, uh, those three files into the sync. Uh, and that's our Azure SQL uh, table. Now, here is the name of that. So we have data flow 2. That's the name of our data flow. I'm going to go to the pipeline 2. And uh, here, I just want to delete the old one. And I'm going to grab this uh, data flow 2. Let's say hit the debug. Uh, and now it should be going into the queue, and then in progress, and then should complete successfully. Now, what we'll do here, I will go to this table and take a look if there is data is loaded. As of now, there's no data because our pipeline is in progress. Once it is completed, we should see the data for three files. And each file, remember, has a different sheet name. That's why you use index zero, because we want to read the very first sheet from each of the Excel file. Our data flow and pipeline has been completed successfully. Let's go to the table here and execute. Now you can see that we have Europe data here and then we have North America data here and we, then we have data read from a total sale Asia file. So you can see this whole data is loaded. Now that's great if you want to further take a look here to go to click on, uh, sorry, click on white space here and click on these glasses or detail and then uh, you can take a look from there. So here is our sync, all streams, sync source, you know, and uh, you want to click right there and it will tell you all those uh, detail, how many rows read, and uh, then uh, you can click on the sync and you can uh, see that as well. Uh, so I hope uh, this video is helpful and you learn uh, how to read uh, multiple Excel files uh, with the different uh, sheet name uh, and how to use the position of that sheet uh, to read uh, and load into the Azure SQL data, uh, database table. Thank you very much for watching. I will put uh, the, um, the uh, table definition and uh, the sample data in the description so you can experiment by yourself. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.